What's up YouTubers, v 2 that So, I've done a couple videos on this before, but this will be my best one as far as how well it works and the safest also as far as what to do. So, you're going to want to um, make a solution. I'm using Zep because it's got the cupric oxide in it, copper oxide. Um, and so you're going to make a solution in here with it. It doesn't have to be saturated or nothing crazy. Um, my solution's so dark because I've done a few runs of this so far. And so I got one container there, and so then I've got another container here, which you see I've got holes drilled in it. And so now I drilled holes full circumference in this. Do not do that. Only drill holes in half of the, on one side and not the other. And so now I'm going to push this down in here, the liquid, so you can see um, you don't want the holes to be above the water, and you, I mean, obviously, but you don't want them to be at the, close to the surface, and you don't want them to be close to the bottom either. So what's going to happen is this bucket here that I'm sinking in will catch all the um, metal that's not copper from the brass, and then the all the brass, or the copper, will leave this container and come over over to here to the other container and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hook up my negative electrode which you see here I got my negative one to a stainless steel plate which put it in here don't I'll just drop that Ah. All right, so I've got my negative to the stainless steel plate, and I've got my positive to a piece of brass that I'm going to dissolve. And so now um, the brass will start breaking down almost instantaneously. I'm just trying to make sure that the clip isn't in the solution because it will get attacked also and so now anyways almost instantaneously it'll start dissolving from this and pulling the copper over to the other side usually I want this over here help give a little more separation of the liquid and so now one thing I'd like to point out also is so I have my top one here and I have my bottom one here so now this is the exact same thing I've got going on in the top one, except this is a, a, a amalgam of silver and copper. And so this whole thing, will, I originally discovered this to remove silver plating from copper because the silver would stay in the, in the one bucket and the copper would leave. And so that was how I discovered this process. And so, yeah. All right, got a stick holding it now, stupid thing. So, anyways, you can see I've got my brass here on the positive, stainless steel on the negative, and so it's probably been five seconds or whatever so far since I put that in there and started it, turning it back on. And so now, if you look here, you can see it's already starting to deposit copper onto here. And so, I mean, it, it works incredibly quickly on, so you'll know whether or not it's working that fast. And so now, this is just a regular DC power supply from a computer. Um, I have another video that shows how to make one of these very simply, stupid easy. I mean, I did it and I'm a dummy, so. One thing I wanted to point out real quick is, so I'm running this at 12 volts right now, and um, from the literature I've read, that's not the most optimum, so. The optimum is like 3.8 or 4.4 or something like that, but that is the from what I read that literature would be with the solution that both metals would break down in, and so that's you would use one voltage so it would carry a specific metal, not multiple metals. To where in this solution, the tin and the zinc can't break down from the copper, so uh, the copper oxide solution. So the higher voltage works quicker that way from my judgment and from what I've seen in my observation. So that's why I'm running it at 12 volts. Um, if you know better than that, please let me know in the comments because 
I would I would like to know. Help me out. Um, yeah, and so anyways, just to reiterate what will happen now, so all the copper will leave this container and into this container specifically to connect to this stainless steel cathode and um, all the tin and zinc or whatever metals in this brass here will stay in this container here. And so now whenever that piece is dissolved as much as I want, I can just take this whole bucket out and dump it out and that's how I'll attain it because it'll all just fall to the bottom. And so now one thing that you will have to do eventually is all the copper will go to that and so you you can clean that off or just let it f fall in there but I typically let it get a pretty good build up and then pull this out and then it'll all the copper will just peel off as one solid sheet it's kind of pretty actually it's like crystals on one side and then pristine smooth copper on the other and so but yeah anyways so this is the best way I found to separate brass to get your copper and tin and zinc all separated. I mean the tin and zinc will obviously be together in here if there is that composition or not. It may just be the tin and so yeah so literally it's that simple guys. So anyways till the next one. Hope this helps. Please like, subscribe, help me grow. Alright I drew this picture kinda to help push my message of what I'm trying to do with this experiment well it's not really an experiment anymore it's a project at this point so anyways guys i hope that this helps and it works good for you please comment like and subscribe help me grow i want to get bigger